the spotlight on the defense sector. Now, Nirbal Bang in a note says, India's defense industry is likely to see an opportunity of $70 billion over the next 8 to 10 years. To discuss this, we're joined by Jyoti Gupta, research analyst at Nirmal Bang Institutional Equities, and Mr. Deepa Kota, ex-CMD of BEML. Uh, you know, thank you very much uh, for joining in, Mr. Hota and, you know, Jyoti for joining in. You've done some very in-depth analysis of the opportunity for the India defense uh, sector, the evolution of the defense industry since, uh, you know, independence. Can you quantify the defense opportunity for listed and even the PSU companies? Um, first of all, thank you so much for having me here and giving me this opportunity to actually discuss our report. Uh, see, this... Uh, sector will see a major boom. What you currently see is, I believe, it's, it's just over the surface of froth. The government is going to spend something like a 130 billion over the next six years by FY30. The space sector itself comes with an opportunity of 13 billion for the companies, whether PSU or private, into space sector. So, you know, what we are doing currently are from graduating from sub components to components, subsystems to systems. So, we haven't actually reached to a level where we are even fully into subsystems, let alone the systems, you know, a part of it. So obviously, this 70 billion that you see is only for our companies in, uh, in our coverage. But uh, the, the opportunity is much bigger. And you should not look at defense in isolation to the civil infra. So obviously, the, the opportunity is much larger than what is actually estimated. Okay. Uh, so, uh, let me just uh, take the discussion to Mr. Hota as well. Uh, so, thanks very much for joining in. Really appreciate you uh, being with us today. So just sort of tell us, you know, what do you think is changing? Uh, one is the spends that have been going higher. I mean, overall uh, spends on on defense. But also this whole move towards uh, indigenization and a lo lo lot of private names now coming up as well. Of course, you know, HAL, BEML, BEL, these are all the, the public sector giants. But how do you view the, the recent trend of a lot of mid-sized uh, private sector companies, component suppliers, subsystems, you know, uh, manufacturers. Uh, how do you describe the opportunity for the entire supply chain? Uh, well, good afternoon. Thank you so much for having me in this uh, discussion. I would like to give all the credit to Jyoti for the massive uh, research that she has done. But having said that, uh, you know, I look at the defense as a sector that uh, is going to see much more boom. Now, why do I say that? It's when you look at the first, uh, you know, company set up in India and somewhere in 1700 by the Dutch and uh, the HAL was set up by D Volchand Industries, a private sector that was taken over by the Britishers, handed over to the Americans. And after that, we have seen a full circle of now uh, the defense being triggered, I would say, by the national pride of the country. And this goes hand in hand with the economic progress of the economy, you know, overall uh, GDP going up. Now, uh, the make in India has been a fantastic success, I would say, but still we have a long way to go. The government has been very patient in evolving its policies. Now, I remember being there. This was during the COVID when the entire thing started, uh, you know, to create a level playing field. The public sector used to uh, get certain uh, nomination orders. Now, all that is, uh, you know, a thing of the past. Uh, you have uh, inducted the private sector, you have given them a lot of, uh, like for example, exporting. You can export uh, without having to wait for the, uh, you know, that approvals, certain approvals which earlier used to be coming in the way. So what I'm trying to basically say is that India is uh, going to go a long way. And uh, given the global hotspots that we have, not only the, you know, tensions that we have along our border, but the various hotspots along the globe, all these are going to trigger the defense industry in a big way. The Make in India indigenization started off. Uh, we still have a long way to go. Uh, we should be very mindful of the fact that uh, the foreign OEMs should not be uh, still uh, dumping the stuff and uh, trying to show the labor uh, as uh, you know a percentage of the indigenization. So that's basically what I want to say. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Mr. Hota, uh, so while the opportunity is great, uh, the order books are swelling for the companies across the board, the question is on the execution capabilities. Will the Indian companies be able to execute the large orders that they have on their hand and continue with that kind of a growth runway? Is there any risk to execution not matching up? 
execution is uh, going to be something that we need to focus on and this applies to both the public sector as well as the private sector companies so uh, because there's a lot of stuff happening in the country today uh, you know infrastructure built is happening along uh, so with that defense also and somewhere along the line you know somebody feels a little peeved and some country decides to put an embargo on us now these are all going to be things that we have to be mindful of but execution yes i agree with you we have to uh, focus on it uh, by investing more and more into the technology more and more See, manpower is also going to be a major uh, concern for us because you don't get the right kind of people a lot of people are retiring now uh, ai is also coming in industry 4.0 is also there so these are all with a lot of technological changes happening we uh, need to be mindful of execution does it answer your question uh, yeah mr hota yes absolutely and i think that's what the street also has its eye on uh, earnings need to keep coming in while of course the uh, the order book growth is fantastic and the street understands that jyoti let me take that question to you in terms of getting uh, sustained earnings momentum and then talking about the valuation question that's the biggest one right because stocks like hal when when you see stocks go up 300% as an investor you're wondering if there's anything still left on the table actually this is not an industry you should look at there's no cyclicality what you really need to understand is that they should have an order book this takes time for execution this is not a normal cement or any other industry which has an execution timeline there is a lot of prototypes there's a lot of testing there's a lot of retrofitting a lot of other aspects to the entire industry which happens and therefore uh, execution does take time because these are very very sophisticated uh, systems which is involved into it it and it uh, involves national security so uh, i think uh, what is important is look at the order book look at the uh, you know it shouldn't dry up that's the most important thing while execution normally takes 14 to 24 months and i think that is some people have to the investors have to be patient for that what about valuations that that's the bigger question see what you see the valuation yeah. i believe it hasn't really come up when we start working on core technologies when we start looking at engines propulsions etc uavs there's much more to come into this industry than what we are seeing right now mm. I think you cover close to about eight uh, different yes. companies. Yes, yes, eight companies. And across the board, you have a buy or an accumulate uh, rating. So you like it, you know, the entire I, spectrum. I love the entire spectrum. And when you spoke about the private companies, that's where you know the private companies are going to be act as support functions for these okay. public sector companies because there's going to be a huge. uh you know demand for a lot of uh, for e equipments across land sea mm. and air you know there's a modernization scheme which is going around uh, uh, in atmanirbhar make in india plan and that's where a lot of ones if you look at bls order book which is it is quite large that's where companies like astra microwave data pattern comes in because then they're into subcontracting and doing a lot of subcomponent parts so amongst companies. these companies which ones have the highest earnings growth the valuation picture is on the screen hmm. but talk about the earnings growth for these where is it that's the highest and amongst the eight would you have a preferred pick i would look at companies which are into their niche core technologies which is hal Okay. which is uh, right now you might be seeing it it's not actually running but it has huge potential then i look at bdl which is another which is into launching systems now i i'm another is mdl mascon within private sector i'm very positive on astra followed by data patterns all these companies have in fact a lot of private companies which are doing a lot of work which are into uh, you know ma making some very critical engines they also have huge potential of growth for these companies as well All right, uh, Jyoti and Mr. Hota, thank you very much for uh, joining in and explaining uh, sort of what lies ahead. It's a long trajectory. These are not businesses that you evaluate only for the next one year, but this is you know a journey of decades. And I must add, Jyoti, I really love the cover of your uh, report. Yeah, thank it's you. Beautiful. I don't know if if, we, if the camera will capture it or not, but yeah, beautiful IF jets, uh, you know, in the sky with the the colors. <laughs> Let me of just the, hold it up. You know, right? I don't know if it'll yeah, capture, it... but yeah. If, uh, if, uh, then you can see. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, we can see. We can. We can see the. We can see the jets. That's a and beautiful picture. And as you can picture. see, it's a really in-depth uh, <laughs> report. How many pages? I guess one fifty-six pages. 156 pages. All right. Thank you for giving us that, you. you know, summary of it, and thank you, Mr. Hota. for uh, joining in but we've got another important discussion on trading hour yes we do so we do have to uh, i think do we take a break or can we straight away move to that